Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and today doing a ninja deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one for you guys because this deck is an extremely fun deck to play and actually one of my favorite decks in the entire game. I absolutely love playing ninjas because they're so easy to control the board and swarm the board with your ninjutsu art cards so you can go in for game. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit the bell there so you can come for our notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name in the description of every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we've been playing three copies of Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. This card is one of the best cards in the entire deck and the best normal summon in the entire build is when this card is normal summon, you get to add a ninjutsu art card from your deck to your hand. And when this card is flip face up or special summoned, you get to add a ninja monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of Hanzo. And the cool thing about this card is it's actually not a one spur turn so as many times as you can summon this card you get its effect to go off which is so cool we then play three copies of mitsu mitsu is definitely a three of in the build because this card is an amazing extender for the deck and it's also a negate it has the ability if you control a ninja card or a face down defense social monster you can special summon this card from your hand and when your opponent activates a monster effect quick effect you can target a face down defense social monster you control change it to face up defense social and if you do change this card to face down defense solution, then the targeted monster was a ninja monster, except a copy of Mitsu, negate that opponent's activated effect, which is a really cool ability to also flip this card face down while also negating a card and flipping one of your other ninjas face up is just really cool. We then play three copies of Tobari. Tobari is basically like a quick polymerization, which is so cool about this card. And it's just a really awesome three up that lets you fusion summon during your opponent's turn. And as you know, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects to turn it with special summoned or flip face up. And you can only use the following effects this card once per turn that you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to be able to special summon a ninja monster from your hand and face up or face down defense solution. But the main effect we use on this card is during your opponent's main or battle phase, quick effect, you can fusion summon a ninja fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field fusion material, basically making this card a walking polymerization during your opponent's turn. We then play two copies of Kagero. Kagero is an amazing 2-0 in the build to be able to use Tobari's effect to send it to the graveyard to actually special summon this card from your hand so you can bring your Tobari back from the graveyard and get you two ninjas on your side of the field. This card is really if it's normal or special summon or flip face up you can actually special summon a ninja monster from your hand or grave and face down defense solution except another copy of Kagero and also has a really cool graveyard effect that when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets exactly one ninja card or or exactly one face down defense solution monster you control. While this card's in the graveyard, quick effect, you can special summon this card and face down defense solution. And if you do, return the targeted card back to your hand, letting you dodge card effects on the field, which is really cool. We then play a single copy of Baku. Baku is really good as a one of in the deck. But the only reason you play this card as a one of is because it's a little bit of a brick in your hand if you do draw into it, but it's great to search. With the ability, if this card is added to your hand, except by drawing it, you can actually special summon this card. And if it's special summoned or it's flip face up, you get to target a ninja or a ninjutsu art card in your graveyard or face up in your spell and trap card zone and add it back to your hand, which is a really cool ability. We then play a single copy of green ninja i feel like you only need a single copy of this card it's really good as a one of in the build but i feel like one is all you need we can play a single copy of geo geo is amazing but again this card is a little bit of a brick which is why i feel like one is all you need it's amazing to be able to summon off your copy of dancing leaves especially if you have your copy of multiplication or duplication to be able to turn this card into a bunch of different ninjas on your side of the field but i feel like one is all you really need this card is also basically like floodgate trap hole which is absolutely insane and if this card is normal or special summoned or flip face up you can target it to two face up monsters on the field and change them to face down defense position and if you do it has the ability any monster that was flipped face down by this card's effect cannot change their battle position basically being like floodgate trap hole and again this is actually one of the best cards to summon off your copy of dancing leaves because it's basically like a double floodgate trap hole while also getting you a 2900 defense point monster on your side of the field which is so 
cool. We then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is definitely a three of in the build because this card helps out a lot just at stopping the opponent from touching the deck. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Rhoda. Rhoda is really good as a one of, so you can search out your copy of Hanzo from your deck to your hand. We then play a single copy of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is really good as a one of in the deck, basically just to use this card to stop your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays. We then play a single copy of Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion is really good as a one of in the build, basically just to use this card to summon out Millennium Eyes or Strike to your side of the field or one of your Ninja Fusion monsters out to your side of the field, which is just really good to summon out your copy of Yaga Namaru, all this card's effect, to instantly get another ninja on the field so you can make a copy of Mizim. But being able to use this card to get Millennium Eyes Restrict on your side of the field is the main way that I actually use this card. So basically you have two copies of Call by the Grave by using this card because Millennium Eyes Restrict is a monster negate, which is really cool. We then play a single copy of Hidden Village of the Ninjutsu Arts. This card is really good as a one of in the build, and I'm always between this card and Tenchi Kamea, but I really like this card right now is it has the ability if a ninja monster is summoned to the field you can actually target a ninja monster or a ninjutsu art card in your graveyard and add it to your hand but you cannot activate cards or effects of cards with this same name for the rest of the turn which is a pretty cool ability to instantly get the exact card that you need like a copy of notebook that you can set to your side of the field and then basically use it on the follow-up this card also has a really cool ability if a ninja monster or a ninjutsu art card you control would be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect you can banish a ninja monster from your grave instead, giving you a little bit of protection for your cards. We then play a single copy of Iron Tool. Iron Tool is just a good one out in the deck because it is searchable. This card is really cool because the equipped monster gains 500 attack and it's also treated as a ninja monster, which is really cool to be able to actually use this card with Boral Sword to go in for the OTK because Misa will let your ninjas attack directly. So you can basically make a copy of Boral Sword, turn it into a ninja using this card, and then also attack directly twice with your copy of Misa's ability, which is so cool. This card has a great ability as well that you can actually banish a ninja monster from the graveyard and then target one card on the field and destroy it and if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can actually target one of your banished ninja monsters and add it back to your hand or special summon it in face down defense solution which is a great ability to use this card to be able to pop a card on the field we then play three copies of notebook notebook is definitely a three up this card is so cool in the deck and i absolutely love this card in the build because it has the ability if your opponent controls a card you can set up to one ninja monster and a ninjutsu art spell or trap to your side of the field and one must come from your deck and one must come from your graveyard which is really cool about this card to instantly get cards on your side of the field and i love that about this card it also has the ability of this set card on the field is sent to the graveyard you can actually target one face up monster on the field and change it to face down defense solution which is a great ability because you're always going to get plays off this card we then play three copies of pot of prosperity you don't need every Everything in the extra deck, which is why this card is so powerful in the deck, just to help you dig into the deck for the exact card that you need, like a copy of Hanzo. We then play three copies of Book of Moon. Book of Moon is just too strong in this deck not to play, because with your copies of your Dancing Leaves, you can actually tribute face down monsters that your opponent controls to be able to activate it. So this card is really good at outing your opponent's monsters by flipping them face down. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to start off with three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Infinite Impermanence is definitely a three of in the build, just to stop your opponent's monster effects and also lock down entire columns of spells and traps. We then play three copies of Karma Cannon. Karma Cannon is insane in this deck. I absolutely love playing this card as a three of in the build, because it outs Link monsters, it outs Towers monsters, and it also helps us out a lot because it gets our ninjas face down. It has the ability to change as many monsters on the field as possible to face down 
down defense system. Then, if either player controls a face-up monster, they must send all face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. And since this card actually affects the player and not the monsters, it will make your opponent send towers like monsters to the graveyard, which is so cool. We then play a single copy of Duplication. Duplication is definitely a one-of in the build, as this card is how you swarm all your ninjas out on your side of the field by tributing your copy of Geo, because it has the ability to actually tribute a ninja monster, and then special summon any number of ninja monsters from your deck in face-up attack position or face-down defense position with a combined level less than or equal to the level of the tributed monster. Meaning if we actually tribute a copy of Geo, we get to summon ninjas of equal level to eight to our side of the field, which is just going to swarm the board with like five ninjas, which is absolutely insane to help us go in for game. We then also play three copies of Dancing Leaves. Dancing Leaves is insane as a three of in the build because this card has the ability that you can activate this card by targeting a ninja monster or a face-down defense position monster on the field, meaning it can be your opponent's face down defense position monster you actually use this card. You tribute it, and if you do, special summon a ninja monster from your deck, which can summon out cards like your copies of Geo to use as a double floodgate trap hole, which is so cool. This card also has a really cool effect that when this card leaves the field, send that monster to the graveyard, but the really awesome ability is you get to target a ninjutsu, ninjutsu art continuous spell or trap in your spell and trap card zone and return it back to the hand, but you can only use one effect this card per turn and only once that turn. I really like that you can actually recycle this card, which is really, really nice to be able to do, so you can use it over and over again, or even recycle cards like duplication if all the monsters are already gone, you can recycle this card back to your hand and use it all over again. So. That's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start with three copies of Mizen. Mizen is definitely a three of in the build. This card is the most powerful card in the entire extra deck, and one of the only cards you actually summon in the extra deck. This card is really cool because you don't have to use polymerization to summon it. You can actually just use two ninjas on your side of the field, which is so cool. And you can even use face down ninjas to be able to summon out this card because it has the ability that must first either be fusion summon or special summon from your extra deck by tributing the above cards that you control. And your ninja monsters can attack your opponent directly, which is such a cool ability. And why your copy of Iron Tool equipped to Boral Sword is an OTK, because this this card will actually let the Boral Sword attack directly since it's counted as a ninja with Iron Tool equipped to it. This card also has the ability that basically, uh, while you control a face down defense position monster, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. And also, when your opponent activates a Carter effect, quick effect, you can actually special summon a ninja monster from your deck and face up her face down defense position, which is a really cool ability. We then play three copies of Yagadamaru. Yagadamaru is really good as a three of them build because this card just spot removes cards off the field. You can summon it the exact same way as your copy of Mizen, and both of these cards just require two ninja monsters with different types to be able to summon out to your side of the field. You don't have to use polymerization, you can just tribute them off your side of the field. This card is really good because when this card is summoned to your side of the field, or when it's flipped face up, you can manage one of their ninja or ninjutsu art card from your hand, graveyard, or face up from the field, and then target one card on the field and banish it, which is really cool. You can play a single copy of Ultimate Great Insect. You don't summon this card all that often, but it's still really good to be able to play because we do have the copy of Iron Tool to turn one of our monsters into a ninja, and it's very easy to be able to use this card. It has the ability that just requires you to be able to special summon this card out to your side of the field. It must first either be Fusion Summon or Special Summon from your extract by tributing an insect monster with 2,000 or more defense points equipped with an equipped card, meaning your copy of your Mitsu equipped with a copy of Iron Tool. You can actually summon out this card that way which is really cool it also cannot be destroyed by battle and once per turn during the battle phase if there's a card in the field spell zone quick effect you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls basically being like regeki if there's a field spell we then play a single copy of millennium eyes restrict this card is really good as a one of in the build basically being like a second copy of call by the grave that we can put on our side of the field with instant fusion we then play a single copy of boral sword boral sword is basically our otk pieces of the deck which is why we played this card as a one of in the build i really like this card as a one of 
of in the deck because it helps out a lot overall to be able to summon out this card to your side of the field and just go in for game, especially when you turn it into a ninja with Iron Tool. We then played two copies of Saizo. Saizo is really cool as a two of in the build because this card has the ability that during your main phase, you can set a ninjutsu art spell or trap directly from your deck to your side of the field, making this card a really good combo piece in the deck. We then play a single copy of SP Little Knight. You don't have to play this card if you don't have it, but it's a really good double interruption in the deck. It's a really cool card to be able to summon out to your side of the field. You could play Nightmare Unicorn instead if you want to, or Nightmare Phoenix as an alternative option of this card, but if you have it, play it because it's really, really good as a double interruption. We can play a single copy of Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep's just amazing to help you go in for the Boral Sword F or OTK to basically just go in for game. I love that about this card, that it's so easy just to summon out this card, then summon out a copy of Mizen or a copy of Yaganamaru to your side of the field, and then bring back a ninja from your graveyard to your side of the field that's a level four lower, which helps out a lot, especially if you're bringing back a copy of Hanzo, because it will make the Hanzo go off, which is really cool. We then play a single copy of Baguska. Baguska is really good as a one of in the deck, basically just to slow down the game. And then finally play a single copy of Typhon. Typhon's really good as well because it's very easy to summon out to your side of the field because it's so easy because of its effects. You can also play if you want to instead of the copy of SP. You can play a copy of Zeus which is another option for you guys or any other rank 4 like a copy of Blade Armor Ninja if you want to instead of the SP Little Knight for a more budget option. So that's it for the deck guys. I hope you enjoyed. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played ninjas before you should definitely give this deck a try. It's one of my favorite decks ever created because it's so cool to be able to just control the board and go in for game with all of your ninja monsters. It's just really really fun. I play it on stream a lot whenever I play Master Duel. If you guys have not checked out one of the streams you definitely should because it's a lot of fun especially when I play this deck. So that's gonna do it for this one guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notice so you can come for our notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.